Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome back to the seventh part tutorial of how to model an island and we are continuing with our uh, generator <laughs> so uh, right now you can see that I just left it floating a little bit above this so I'm gonna stitch this uh, you know like so trying to be careful and precise and what I will do next I will grab this I'm gonna isolate this I want to create some, uh, you know, uh, like uh, a stand for it. So I'm gonna add, uh, like, I'm gonna take this. Uh, well, I don't know really how to do this. Let's see. I'm gonna add a few edge loops here. Let's see how we are doing this. I'm gonna grab this edge, control, right click, edge ring utilities, edge ring and split. This will cause this, so I'm gonna unisolate and isolate. Well, you know what? Let's organize the scene for a second. I'm gonna open the uh, channel editor here. Okay, channel box. And I can grab the island and click on this icon here and it will assign this object to this layer so we can hide this for now that way we will have space to work with and we won't be worried every time we adding a new object that way you know like it won't be inside this island bevel edge i'm gonna grab this and this and shift right click well, you know what? Let's choose the scale tool. Try and move these towards there. See what's happening here? It's just uh, creating an overlap, so I don't need this. I'm gonna try and avoid this. I'm only gonna move these and you know all these, and I'm gonna move these. Double click on that one so only those edges has been selected and now whenever I'm moving them they will be like so okay I'm gonna do the same here click on this edge ring until this red ring and split I'm gonna grab this edge double click on it shift right click bevel edge and here I'm not that worried but I sort of well you know I'm gonna do the same Double click here, shift select this, double click here, and scale tool, and I will move it, scale this. So it will match this two guys here. Okay. Now I'm gonna do something same here. I'm gonna grab this, uh, control right click, edge ring until this, red ring and split, and then grab this one, shift right click, we will edge. I wanna just take a look at what's going on there okay with these I don't I won't have any much problem but I will grab them from here and double click on this well it's looped from the top I don't need this from the top I need this from here I'm gonna try and maybe only grab these yeah now it's from the bottom and if I will want I can add those so it's easier to grab like these two and these two and I think that's enough so I can simply go on and scale this to about so and sorry now you know what I'm gonna scale them just a little bit like so and I can grab these four no. and simply extrude them out so that way it will have sort of stand uh, like so you know what I'm gonna do is that way halfway a little bit like so then click extrude here again 
just a little bit more and then just a little bit more one more extrusion and that will be fine I'm gonna right click choose face I'm gonna grab this face here this face here and delete them and I'm gonna grab this face that face and extrude them switch to move to and extrude them over here and right now they are both still selected so you can press delete on your keyboard to delete them and by doing so now it, you will be able to attach those so I'm gonna go over tag at weld and I will simply point to this one and attach by the way I uh, resetted the tool last time I used the uh, center option so you might want to do this as well okay these whoa. all right I'll press F8 bring it back to object mode and now I'm gonna bring back the island and just want to make sure that I'm uh, making uh, you know flat area here so what I can do I can simply grab all those vertices here at this part let's choose all the oops sorry 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 I'm still with the target weld tool selection tool will be smarter choice okay these and I don't need those two and yeah that's good so I just gonna make sure that I haven't selected all those beneath so control unselect those but still those remained uh, selected I'm gonna switch to scale tool and simply scale them to flatter in this area see now I know that it won't look that good maybe for some of you but uh, try to adjust this so it will uh, get into a reasonable point and with that I will uh, go and create two planks so let me see if I have any well I will I will just hide this for a second I'll create a cube I'm gonna move this cube over here and I'm gonna reveal this layer and now I'll place this cube somewhere near the legs there okay and I'm gonna scale them that way squeeze them a little bit like so and you're gonna stretch them so you either do you know short uh, planks so it should be like wood planks like that stabilizing this or something just not to stand on the ground so either that uh, or simply stretch this and it will be one long log that it's standing on now just for random random randomiz randomization <laughs> um, I will let me undo that let's keep it with the planks um, gonna do like two of them control D duplicate this and I give it slight rotation like so just so it will look more, uh, you know, sort of a organic, randomized, whatever. Okay, these here, and these two here, and we're good to place this so I'm gonna simply grab the entire structure except this and I will try and stick this a little bit 
into the ground like so okay so it's standing on that flat area and now I'll take these three barrels let's move them aside for a second so this is where the heat comes from so let's avoid explosions I think I'm gonna gonna do just a little bit more modification to this area so my selection has remained and this one shouldn't have been selected so I'm gonna select all these as well okay now I don't need these two and I don't need these three and yeah I need those these three so I'm gonna oh and I need to unselect all those beneath that accidentally has been selected so now the gizmo is up here so it means that nothing have left there to unselect now that it is here and I flutter in all that area I can simply move this aside so let's press F8 let's grab this entire structure except this let's see that everything moves along yeah that's nice that's better now you can see that part of the wood plank here has been covered uh, it's like intersecting with the land so I'm gonna do this just a little bit to tweak things here You have two planks, so you need to reveal them all, <laughs> I guess. Well, don't don't grab them that way. Either one by one, or just make sure you didn't select anything beside those. So, move this, like so. You know, sometimes maybe one here and two there uh, could be a good idea as well, but I'm not forcing you know what I'm gonna undo that and I just simply bring this entire structure up a little bit <laughs> I don't know why I'm dealing with this anyway and then I will only need to deal with this one that was smart okay now I'm gonna create another cube so let me unreveal un uh, hide this click, a uh, click on this cube create it move it along here and bring back the island let's place this here and you don't want to rotate this okay you want to make sure it's remain at the same level and I'm stretching this a little bit and what we will do here is we're gonna create some uh, sort of a surface uh, well you know like um, Never. Well, I'm not sure how to call this in English, so excuse me about that. But you will get it in a few seconds. So we have these two, right? One, two, and then maybe shift D. Okay, we have these three. And I'm going to grab a copy of this. And I will turn this into a cube, back into a cube. Loop, loop. All right. So that cube should be here. And Control D, duplicate this, move it along here. And Control duplicate this, and move it along there. Now they don't have to be there, they can be a little bit inside if you want. Just giving you more details that way. Control D to duplicate those those three. Move it along here. Control D. Move it move it along there. Now you want to grab these three. Control D to duplicate those. Okay. <coughs> So you see where it's going. Um, I will need to add 
two of these. So I'm going to grab those three, maybe up a little bit just for a second. Control D to duplicate this one. And I'm going to rotate this in 90 degrees. That way, move it along here and place it. Okay. Like so. Try to make sure it's in the middle of that cube here. Okay. Make sure it's attached in as much as you can. Control D to duplicate this one over here. And Shift D maybe. No. It did duplicate it, but it didn't move it, so anyway, I'm not sure what's going on with the Shift D. So that that created this, and now we can bring those back into place. I'm not sure how it should work. I think I got it wrong. So anyway, I'm going to duplicate this one, duplicate this one, and duplicate this one. So let's say like three of them can be assigned into this particular space. So I'm going to copy those after I position them and move them along here. And here we go, we have this surface here. So with that surface, I'm going to put this surface. Whoa. Let's make sure we selected them all accept the island and place this here okay now you can combine them mash combine just so you can rotate this if you like so just make sure you modify center to pivot later on and then I don't know position them in just a little bit twist I'm gonna bring the barrels and we will put them on the top of these this surface okay just like so <coughs> all right so that's cool right we have a generator we have some oil uh, barrels Maybe we can scale them up a little bit, I don't know, but <coughs> um, we shall see. Uh, I think this is it for this part, and we will continue on the next part, okay? So thank you for watching, have a good day, and see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, don't forget to save this, just in case. Save as. Alright, bye.